Hey guys and welcome to Versus Scale. So today I want to talk about Spreadbot, which is to my knowledge the only a writer that comes up with different topics for you and writes them. Quick disclaimer, this is a sponsored video. The guys from Spreadbot approached me and they wanted my honest review. So the tool in question is Spreadbot.ai. What it does, it excels in topic generation. So you only have to insert a couple of keywords and then the tool does the rest for you. Obviously it does article writing and uh, from what I'm seeing, uh, the formatting is pretty good as well. So the articles are visually pleasing and conveniently formatted. There is an automatic publishing function or feature which allows any user to connect their WordPress website. For even making your purchase decision, you have a selection of uh, free samples. So this one here, for example, using automated content creation to target niche markets. This is a custom image. And now you have a table of contents. As you can see, there are internal and external links, tables. This acts as a summary from what I understand. So each section is followed by this uh, summary. Okay, another summary, internal and external links. I like these uh, images inside of the articles they split up the page nicely and uh, play to the usability and UX components of the article another image and this is a pretty well thought out article which is again summarized in a table in the end let's take another look SEO writer enhancing your online presence again a nice featured image internal and external links I like this idea of summarizing large sections as you can see this is not summarizing h2s per se but sections Okay, nicely done. So there are some additional features of Spreadbot AI. You can set your automated schedule so you don't have to publish everything at once, which Google hates. You have the auto-linking feature which connects to your sitemap and then whenever new articles appear on your sitemap, Spreadbot AI will factor them in. There is a very important brand identity tab that allows you to provide information about your service, your company or yourself. Spreadbot does the autonomous research suggesting new content pieces. You can customize your layout. I haven't seen this feature anywhere else as well. So you can choose the colors, the visual side of things, image generation. So you get a choice between different styles of images. And the support is currently multilingual, which is another thing that I wanted to mention because I do feel that this tool is going to shine when it comes to non-English programmatic SEO. So currently this exists in English, German, French, Spanish, Italian, and Turkish. And as far as pricing, this is on a higher side. Side. So if you get a basic plan, each article will cost you around $4.50. But as you've seen, these uh, are full-on articles with internal external links, images, tables, summaries. So let's actually look under the hood and let's see some of the articles I've generated. So as I said, I really think that this tool is best for programmatic SEO or building out a whole silo on a single niche topic. Now, from what I understand so from talking with the owners of the tool, it can be used for businesses as well. So if you're a legal practice or legal firm, you can input a few important keywords that you feel are in your niche and then the tool is going to spit out the content. But uh, I decided to come up with a niche that I'm somewhat familiar with, being a uh, proud owner of a couple of French Bulldogs. The seed keyword is French Bulldog weight. And again, many of the Bulldogs are overweight. And I'm using strel.io to come up with uh, low competition niche keywords. As you can see, there is over over 300 keywords. Many of them are in the green. So keywords like French Bulldog, newborn weight, how much to feed French Bulldog, how much does a newborn French Bulldog weight, French Bulldog weight at eight weeks, how to get a French Bulldog to gain weight, and so on and so forth. And I think this is a pretty interesting niche. So what you then do, you go inside your spread bots, you start a project. So my project was called Bullies. And then what you do, you can go for keywords or topics. And to me, it was a little bit confusing. So so for the keywords, this is where you want spreadbot.ai to generate topics for you. So I've generated French Bulldog weight, but this is uh, too specific. So the correct way would be probably to go French Bulldog exercise, French Bulldog diet, French Bulldog nutrition, something like this, and you save it. And if you have concrete topics, keywords, for example, and you want a spreadboard to write based solely on these keywords, you just grab your keywords one by one. So once you populate this tab, what spreadboard is going to do, it's going to prioritize these keywords. And once they're exhausted, it's going to switch back to the automatic uh, topic generation. Then you can set your schedule. So frequency, I would say the safe choice is one per day. And on a basic plan, that's 
what you get one article per day so 30 articles in total then as far as publishing you can enable automatic publishing and connect your website auto linking this is a very important feature where you insert your sitemap and connect it and then it's going to feed off of your sitemap i've never owned a website on french bulldogs but i did own this website which is saferdog.com and that's what i've connected and as you can see all of these have been fetched from my site then for the brands if you are a an expert on french bulldogs you can just say that or if your company focuses on french bulldogs and specializes on french bulldogs you can insert your information here the layout is a very interesting one so this is where you set your images so it can be flat illustration it can be embedded or full width then you can enable custom headers and custom footers which is very handy then your table of contents could be either automatic or custom so this is where you control different aspects of your table of contents like background like radius like border stuff like that key takeaways again could be automatic and you can even choose your icon depending on what you want it can be and it can be stylized to your liking same goes for tables you can either go for automatic or custom and then for section spacing so you can even dictate the margins between the sections which is again something very interesting and unusual now to the settings you can choose your language a very interesting one is article bias i haven't seen anything like that anywhere so neutral would be fact-based positive will be biased towards a positive side of a topic and negative will be biased towards something negative like conflicts doubts and downsides and you have a choice between regular article length and extended so i would suggest you choose uh, regular since it will generate anywhere between two and three thousand words okay once you set everything up you just let it be and uh, this is what uh, spreadbot ai had generated for me based on just uh, one keyword here which is french uh, bulldog weight these were the articles understanding and managing the idea of weight healthy nutrition and exercise tips impact of early diet choices and genetic factors influencing weight variation in French Bulldogs. So these articles are all within this uh, French Bulldog weight niche, but they are all different. They are all catered to, to various search intents. And yeah, let's see the articles. So the uh, image is very nice. This is done in this style here, flat illustration. We've got table of contents, some links, a nicely embedded image. We've got a summary, another link, uh, another image, another summary. Okay, let's see some of the other ones because the other niche that I tried was the AI detection niche, which I know very well. So like this one, for example, how to avoid AI detection. Again, a nicely formatted article. And and I had trouble connecting to my sitemap, so that's why I only got one link. But that was my bad. I didn't fully understand how to do that. And yeah, so I think this tool is worthy of your attention. I think this is best for non-English niches, non-English SEO. So all you need is a couple of seed keywords. And then Spreadbot is going to do everything for you. One of the questions that I had was the exact LLM or model that Spreadbot uses. So the answer from the owners was that they are using a hybrid. So some tasks... I may use uh, GPT-4, for example, while the others are using Claude. Currently, there is no setting where you can choose the exact model, and I'm not sure if it's going to be available in the nearest future. But yeah, go check it out. Look at the sample articles, read the reviews, and let me know what you think. I'm interested and curious to know your thoughts on this project. Hope this was helpful. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.